Hello everybody and welcome in our lesson for today. As I promised you in the last lesson today, I'm going to talk about the stimulation. All the babies need to stimulate during the first year of life under the socialization process. So you need to stimulate your baby about talking process and about the social interaction. It is very important to stimulate your baby in these two processes because they need to socialize with the social environment. So just follow the lesson and you will learn very useful tips about the socialization and about the role of stimulation during the socialization process. Let's continue to the lesson. In this case, we can face that stimulus are very important during the socialization process, especially in the first year of life for your babies. This is nothing more important to developing children than exposure to a stimulation environment. A stimulating environment is one that offers children many interesting things to do, to see, to hear and to touch. It is the parents' role to provide a stimulating environment for their children. During the first year of life, the amount of positive contact parents have with their babies will affect their physical, emotional, social and intellectual development. Parents who provide a stimulating environment for their children are letting them know that they are very important in their life. Some types of stimulations. Playing stimulation. Play stimulates infants to use their bodies and senses. It helps develop thinking and intelligence. The most important part, touch, is fun. Play has to be fun for both infants and parents, or neither will want to take part. Babies seek stimulation from their environment. Just about any activity can be stimulating. For example, simply changing a diaper stimulates the sense of touch. Talk with babies face to face. Parents who talk with babies face to face stimulate them the senses of hearing and sight. Keep in mind, babies study the faces of people who speak with them. Many everyday activities are stimulating to infants. Parents can stimulate their infants to more specific ways. For example, provide love. Loving a baby comes naturally to almost all parents. Nothing will help babies grow and thrive more than simple love and acceptance from their parents. Interact with your baby. Parents should take every opportunity to talk and sing to their babies. There are many opportunities in any given day for parents to interact with their infants. Parents can talk or sing to their babies while changing the diaper, giving a bath, shopping for groceries or driving in the car. The goal is for parents to be involved with and communicate with their babies. Stimulation must be appropriate for each baby's level of development. If parents go too far over their baby's heads, they will likely frustrate both their children and themselves. To provide the right type of stimulations, parents must know their children's present level of development. For example, if parents notice that their children are beginning to learn how to roll over from the back to the stomach, they can stimulate this developing skill by placing an object on their baby's side just out of reach. Their babies will then have to roll over to get the object. The key is for parents to know that new skills their babies are working on and then to direct play to stimulate this development skilling. Vision. The sense of vision develops rapidly during the first six months of life. 
At birth vision is blurred, but by the end of the first month, infants will be able to see faces and district patterns. <clears throat> Intellectual development and learning begin with eye contact and visual tracking. Visual tracking is the ability of babies to follow moving objects with their eyes. This stimulation of the sense of sight is very important for infants. During the first month, most babies learn to focus on objects at a distance of 8 to 10 inches. At one month of age, babies are usually able to follow objects with their eyes. This new skill will get progressively better in the coming months. Between four and six months, most babies gradually become able to focus on objects on any distance. They will also follow any moving object that coaches their attention. Contrast and colors. When choosing toys for babies and decorating babies' rooms, Parents should, should keep in mind that babies like sharp contrasts and bright bold colors, especially red. A mobile? Hanging mobiles no more than 12 inches over babies' faces. Parents should make sure that their babies can see the figures on the mobile from their perspective. Most babies prefer to gaze to one side or the other instant of straight up. So, parents should find out their baby's favorite gaze, direction and hang the mobile to the side of the crib. Babies spend a lot of time looking at things around them. Parents should make sure their babies have a lot of interesting objects to look at. Parents can show their babies geometric patterns, hand-drawing faces, or anything they think might be interesting for their babies. Mirrors. Most of the babies love to look themselves and others in a mirror. Parents should make sure the mirror is a safe metal baby's mirror. Books are another type of stimulation. Parents can show their babies pictures in books. Babies prefer simple, bold-colored drawing without a lot of extra detail. People. Babies love to look at face close-up. Parents should spend lots of time up close to their babies. They should also encourage other family members to do the same with the babies. Toys. Babies especially like to look at toys with face, either human or animal, that have large, staring eyes. Once babies begin to track objects, they will especially enjoy toys the wind up and move. The key to stimulating the sense of sight is providing babies with a variety of interesting things to look at. Parents should change their baby's position and location after so that they have a change of scenery and perspective. Changing positions will encourage babies to look around alternately. It's also important to move the objects babies look at often to the change them from time to time. Parents should show their babies only one object at a time to avoid overstimulation. Parents should take their babies out of the house often and show them to the world outdoors. A simple walk around the block, to the store or to a nearby park will provide babies with many new and interesting things to see. The human voice. This is the most important sound in every baby's life. Parents should let their babies hear their voice often. They should talk and sing to their babies every chance they get. Parents can also try imitating the song their babies make. This will encourage babies to make the song again. 
Parents can use their voices also to imitate sounds the babies regularly hear, such as a cat, a dog or a bird or any other toy that makes sound. A rattle. Parents should make sure that the sound the toy makes is not upsetting to their babies or too loud. Parents can try shaking a rattle or ringing a small bell behind their babies. At first, babies may startle at new sounds, but they will soon begin to turn their hands towards the sound they hear. Music boxes and musical toys. Infants will quickly learn to recognize specific tunes, rec recordings and types. Babies enjoy listening to children's types and other kinds of music. Parents should try many different types of music. Parents can observe their babies to determine their favorite songs or types of music. Touch. It is very important. There is no better way for parents to show love for their babies than provide close, loving, physical contacts. Babies need close physical contact with their parents to thrive. It is especially important that parents hold the cuddle their babies as much as possible. When babies achieve adequate head control, parents can try carrying them in a carrier pack as they do household chores. Changing diapers and bathing babies are activities that stimulate babies' touch. Providing adequate health care and proper nutrition are two very important things parents can do for their babies to enhance gross motor, big muscle development. Adequate health care includes well child checkups as well as sick child care. The movement of newborn babies are mostly random and reflexive in nature. As their babies grow, parents will notice more and more deliberate movement from their babies. One of the best things parents can do for their babies to promote gross motor development is to give their babies to space to move. While your babies are lying on their back, you can slowly and gently put them by the arms into a sitting position. This exercise will encourage head and neck control. Probe in a sitting position. Parents can probe their babies in a sitting position. This will also encourage head control and neck muscle strength. Make sure taught that the hand and neck are supported. Most babies do not have full head control until about six months of age. To encourage rolling over, parents can put an interesting object, object to the side of their babies while they are lying at their backs. To encourage creeping, parents can let their babies push off against their hands while lying on their stomachs. Parents can hold an interesting object just out of reach in front of their babies Put off to one side. This will encourage high eye hand coordination as babies reach for the object. Hanging objects will, within reach above the crib will also stimulate eye hand coordination. In the next lesson, we will continue to discuss about fine motor development where two big Stimulations are social development and language development. Just keep to continue and follow us in the next lesson. Thank you for your attention for today. As you can see, we arrived in the end of this lesson for today. I hope that you found some useful tips under this lesson. Also, continue to follow us during our YouTube blog and you will learn other tips about successful parenting process. Bye-bye for today.